Hello everyone I am Moon Masood and you are watching Grab Central YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about LG Smart TV latest updates. While LG is just as prone to making sweeping statements as the next TV brand, it has a history of being very reticent to disclose precise performance metrics and hardware information. The fact that LG's David Sepperson recently provided specific peak brightness figures for the new G3, which will be by far the brightest OLED TV the company has ever made, comes as a huge surprise. The screen will reportedly be able to reach a peak brightness of roughly 2040 nits. This is measured using a 3% window, or a pure white block that is 3% the size of the entire screen, with the remaining 93% being pure black, this will specifically be in the HDR vivid picture setting. Due to its cool but bright balance, a vivid or dynamic picture setting is excellent for demonstrating the extremes that a TV is capable of, but it's typically far from being true to the original source. Sepperson also included the G3's calibrated HDR cinema mode's highest brightness figure, which should provide a more realistically cinematic experience. This amount, 1470 nits, was once more measured through a 3% aperture. Although it may appear to be much less bright than the headline 2040 nit number, the G2 it replaces had a maximum brightness of less than 1000 nits in the same mode. A great deal is also made of the fact that many HDR movies are mastered for the home at the 1000 nit threshold. The source material should be able to be reproduced without the brightest highlights being compressed on a TV that can show brighter images than that. The introduction of Micro Lens Array MLA, technology, which consists of a layer of tiny lenses that focus the light from the OLED materials in order to create a brighter display without the need to drive said OLEDs any harder, is responsible for the significant increase in OLED brightness this year. In contrast to QD OLED TVs, LG Display, the company's panel manufacturing division, has verified that MLA has been added to its third-generation, Meta, panels which are supplied to all traditional OLED TV makers. David Sepperson's confirmation that the G3 does, at least in some sizes, use MLA technology has now altered that. All G3 TVs have Brightness Booster Max, which is a combination of both hardware that we refer to as light control architecture and software that we refer to as light boosting algorithms. This feature enables the G3 OLED EVOs to be brighter. Each size of the G3 has different hardware, and in some sizes, MLA is a component of that hardware solution. Which G3 sizes have MLA and which do not is the logical next query. In summary, this year should see a brightness battle between QD OLEDs and conventional OLEDs. Thanks for watching Grab Central YouTube channel. Please like share and subscribe.